trying to decide which cloud accounting package you want to use. Well, today I'm doing a quick uh, demonstration or comparison between Myob Essentials and Zero Accounting. Both of these are cloud-based. You can run them on any device, Apple, Safari, Google Chrome, whatever. So we're not looking at Myob's other products that require you to install it and only run on Windows and all these types of things. So side-by-side -side cloud comparison. And the first thing I notice when I log in is the dashboard. Very similar. Uh, you know, we've got our uh, income and expenses in my essentials, and over here in zero, we've got our um, invoices owed to you, income, and our bills we need to pay. So fairly similar. Note in zero, though, I can click here and, and get straight into it and add a bill. Um, the other thing, my essentials, I can't edit the dashboard. All right, I'm just stuck with these items. However, if I look in zero, down the bottom, I can edit my dashboard and I can remove accounts. So if I don't want an account, I'll hide that business savings account. I might move my expense claims over here and so on. I do have something in here called the watch list in Xero uh, and I can quite easily add or remove accounts from this watch list. So if I go to say um, my chart of accounts, and I want to keep an eye on, say, my entertainment expense. I can click on that and show on dashboard watch list. Let's go back to the dashboard. And here we are. Just wait for that to load. And now there's my entertainment and uh, I can see what's going on. So side by side on the dashboard, a little bit more features, a bit more customizing in zero. So one point to zero. Now, before we jump in any further, how do the pricing compare? So, my essentials, looking at normally $60 a month, uh, and you can see there you get unlimited employees, uh, the latest single touch payroll, unlimited invoices, quotes, and so on, and track jobs. Zero, uh, looking at $65 a month, so $5 dearer, uh, and they limit uh, the price for the number of employees. So if you had, say, 20 employees, you're looking at $90 a month. So uh, they ramp it up based on the number of employees. So overall, fairly similar, but uh, Myob Essentials does come in a bit, a bit cheaper. So one point there to Myob Essentials. Okay, let's dive into some invoicing. We'll go to sales invoices in My Essentials and in Zero business invoices. Uh, click create invoice here in Myob, new invoice in Zero, and look fairly similar, very similar. So, um, you know, they, they do have some uh, additional job codes and things like that, but they both have a Zero call it region, for example. Um, where we can track jobs and, and so on. But overall, I'd, I'd call them on par. However, in Zero, I can attach, let's say I'm invoicing a customer, I want to attach a photo of the job, you know, of what our, what our employee did. I can actually attach that direct from when I'm creating the invoice. And there's a few ways of doing that, which I won't go into, but Zero lets us do that directly. In Myob, not so easy. I have to go to my in tray, I have to upload the file here. Once it's uploaded, then I can go and link it to a bill or a spend money, but it, it doesn't let me there attach it to my invoice. So uh, zero, get the uh, point on that one. All right, a really cool feature of cloud accounting software is the ability to import your invoices. Let's say your tax invoice has been emailed to you you don't have to go and key that the amount, the date, all of that in. Let's see how Myob Essentials does it. Uh, you go to your in tray, and I've already uploaded one here, um, but it's you either scan it, take a photo if someone's emailed it to you, and you can see it, it can take about 10 minutes to import this um, once you've uploaded the image or sent it from your iPhone or something, and you choose what you want to do with that invoice. Let's say I haven't created it yet. So I'm going to go create bill. And here's a copy of the PDF. It's just a dummy invoice. 
But over here in Essentials, it's gone and put in the invoice number, the day. So um, these key items and the amount down here, 110. Um, so it's saving you keying a lot of information. Really love it. It's one of my favorite features. Uh, so Mob Essentials, it's built in. Zero, on the other hand, they don't build it in. Why? Uh, they do give it away. They have a product called HubDoc, and you get it as part of your zero subscription, depending on the level. But on the comparison today, you would get that for free, um, and it imports it into zero. The issue with HubDoc that we've had is I, it's really slow. Um, it's, you know, I've got uh, thousands of contacts in in zero and it just slows down bogs down so a little bit of extra work there um, and I'm not going to demo connecting it and so on so it's a bit harder to set up um, so overall we're going to uh, really like the uh, my essentials product it's built in all right the all important bank feeds. So both cloud applications let us import our transactions automatically from our credit cards and bank accounts um, once I've obviously configured those with my bank. Now in my essentials, uh, I'll go to banking bank transactions here and because their dummy file doesn't actually have anything set up, I imported some transactions manually. Um, which you can also do. But let's just look at this financial year. And you can see here that I have a deposit of 160, but it's got allocate me. Now, what I'll do here, I've actually already got an invoice and it should have auto matched, but because it hasn't, I'll just click on the drop down and go to match transaction. And we can see here, there's an invoice from the 1st of July, and I'm going to match that amount 160 and you can see it's in balance and I hit save. Now, what concerns me there is it didn't auto match. I had to manually do that. And that may have been because I imported the statement. Um, otherwise I can work manually work through, let's say that I'd paid by credit card or whatever, the transaction hadn't been imported. Then all I need to do is actually allocate the expense account, um, whatever it may be. So I'd spend a while figuring out what that's for. Um, let's just put it to filing fees for now and GST and you can see I've allocated that transaction. So sort of working from my bank feeds where it's automatically pulling in the transaction and sending it off. You can also create what are called bank rules um, to automate this process. Say if it's always a Telstra mobile bill, you would set up that rule and any time on your credit card a Telstra transaction, it would auto prepare it to say telephone expense. Now in zero, similar sort of thing, we hit reconcile and zero's dummy file has actually got some transactions. And you can see here that it's auto matched, for example, to a bill for me. So I can automatically um, uh, reconcile that transaction by clicking okay, and that's posted. If for example, though, uh, you can see here, I've spent $15, it hasn't matched, it's not in zero then I would need to go to add details and it's pre-filled it there with some of the details. I just need to allocate that to an expense. Um, I'm going to just put it to anything for now, advertising, save transaction and reconcile. So I've posted that transaction. If you do need more information, uh, you can click add details and um, and go in and edit and attach the PDF and so on. So look, very similar. I think in my preference, zero slightly cleaner, a um, bit easier to use, but a very close call there. So I won't allocate a point to either one. Let's see how the reports now uh, compare between my essentials and zero. We'll go to reports, report, reporting reports, and I'll do the same thing here in um, in zero, accounting reports, and I'll choose say profit and loss in both. Just let that run. Now you can see here the Mob Essentials one, it's got our profit and loss 
there automatically for this financial year. Zero's just put in some custom dates, so I've got to go and edit that. And I'll just do it for the period up to 31 December. And we can see, look, they're obviously showing the same information, but just to me, the, the layout of the zero report is so much cleaner. I mean, why are they showing here by default the, the uh, expense account, income and expense accounts? Um, I'm not sure that's a, one that I'd want to give to a, to someone, to management, whereas the zero, it looks professional, it looks like my accountant's done it. Um, and, and so I'm going to uh, give this one to um, zero. Now, of course, you can edit all of these through report options and spend time customizing. But look, off the bat, um, zero, I've got the win there. And they do actually have a fair bit more customization that you can do to your reports. So uh, give that to zero. So drum roll, who wins? Well, I might be a bit of a fanboy here. I think zero come out on top. The thing with these cloud applications is they change so quickly that you know they'll be copying each other, coming up with new ideas, different ways of doing things. Um, you, you really, there really isn't a clear cut winner, um, but uh, it seems that Zero's got the leap here on MYB, and uh, and they're going to be the winner for today. Uh, hopefully, the the competition will catch up and uh, overtake, and we'll go from there. If you want to find out more about Zero and Myob, you need to learn those programs. Check us out online at appliededucation.edu.au, and we've got uh, all sorts of bookkeeping and accounting courses. We've got Zero and MYB courses as well. Thanks for uh, tuning in and like us if you enjoyed it.